like, share, subscribe. HCB2 World. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So if you're watching this video and you clicked it because of the thumbnail, I'm honestly just going to go ahead and assume you're a Beelzebub fan. Now, if you're a Beelzebub fan, let me tell you, it's already a great start to the week for us. Now, the reason I say that is because Beelzebub's author, Ryuei Tomorrow, he actually just dropped a new manga, and that manga is called Hungry Marie. Now, to be honest with you, I didn't even know it was coming out. I actually found out last week from Kid Otaku, so I'm going to throw him some love. Actually, at the end of this video, I'm going to go ahead and put his button at the end of the ending screen. So, if you get an opportunity, click that, subscribe to him. He's a great guy, he does reviews, and his shit is actually pretty legit. Now, to get back to Hungry Marie, if you're a Beelzebub fan, I think this is something you'll definitely enjoy. With the first chapter uh, just dropping yesterday, which would have been Monday, I had to check it out. You know, I had to check it out. And honestly, man, I really loved it. Um, it's categorized as a battle romance manga. And you can already tell, like, it's got a lot of funny shit in it. I mean, the main character, he seems like he's going to be a hilarious dude. The girl that he's in love with seems like she's going to be hilarious. And it's actually off to a pretty good start. Now, with anything new, you know there's going to be a lot of hate and there's going to be a lot of flack. So, my advice to you guys would be to avoid that. Um, don't let some crazy big reviewer throw you off of this because they like ranting about something and they want to talk shit about everything. If you're a Beelzebub fan, I legitimately think you'll enjoy it. And I think it's something you should actually check out for yourself. This first chapter was 54 pages. It really wasn't that bad of a read. I actually enjoyed it. So, the 54 pages went quick and I think you guys will enjoy it as well. Now, to give you a little bit of background on what it's about, it actually follows a guy named Tiger who, in this sense, I think he's like a 15, 16 year old boy. I don't know. But he's in love with this neighbor who's the girl named Anna. Now, unfortunately, Anna and Tiger got this kind of Romeo and Juliet thing going on where the two families don't like each other. Um, Tiger's family, the Bijojis, they actually run like a dojo or something out of their house. And Anna's family, the Sakamiyamas, or the Sakiyamas, they actually live in a church. Now, that church has been known to be like creepy as hell, and they didn't really even know someone was in there until, you know, um, Tiger went and found out that Anna lived there when he was a kid. So, as they grow up, you know, he's kind of watching her from a distance, he's falling in love with her, but he doesn't have the sack to get it done, you know. He wants to tell her he loves her, you know, he considers her his first love, but his, his game is trash, basically. So, at this point, you know, he, he's never going to man up and talk to her. As fate would have it, he actually ends up on top of a hill one day, and when you know it, Anna's like really not that far away from him on the same hill. He walks over to her, but as he walks over to her, he sees her doing this weird ass ritual. It's from that point that shit gets crazy, and uh, since she's been caught, she has basically no other choice but to tie him up. Now, after Anna ties him up, she takes him back to the church to her family, where it's revealed that they're actually necromancers. And not only are they necromancers, but they're trying to bring back one specific person. And that person is Marie Therese Charlotte, who actually ends up being the daughter of Marie Antoinette. Now, unfortunately, since Tiger knows too much, you know, they kind of gotta, they kind of just can't let him go because they don't know if he can be trusted with the secret. But he says, you know, I wasn't gonna say shit, you know, I, I basically do anything for Anna. But, you know, that's not good enough. Now, in order to bring back uh, Marie Therese Charlotte, they actually needed a sacrifice. The original sacrifice was going to be chicken legs, but shit, man, since they got Tiger tied up, they might as well use him, right? So they go ahead and they put him down and lay him on the ritual circle, and they kind of walk away contemplating the next move. Unfortunately, as they do that, lightning strikes the church, and it actually ends up sending him through the floor. So at this point, Anna and her family, they're freaking out because not only do families already not get along, but shit, man, they might have potentially just killed Tiger. But as it turns out, Tiger's perfectly fine. Almost, almost. As he emerges from the floor, you find out that he's turned into none other than the Marie they've been trying to resurrect. And that's pretty much how the chapter ends. Um, I can tell you that this manga definitely seems like it's going to have a lot of laughs. It's going to have some uh, pretty good fight scenes. Now granted, the first chapter didn't have really any fight scenes in it, but it alluded to the fact that obviously there's going to be fighting through the fact that he lives in the damn dojo house. So, um, it actually seems like it's going to be pretty interesting. I want to see how this whole Marie thing figures into it because Marie actually doesn't pop up until the end. But you know what? We have to wait and see. Don't let these reviewers kind of throw you off of it or tell you that it's bad. Read it. Figure out for yourself. It's new. So, if you're, if you're kind of wrapping up with old manga or you've kind of been sitting around waiting for something fresh to come around, this is your chance, baby. All right? Get off your ass. Go read this. Check it out. Let's have something to talk about. 
Other than that, guys, I just want to talk to you about it a little bit. I actually loved it. I enjoyed it. And I really can't wait to see what happens next week. Um, I think this is going to be one that I am going to end up reviewing. So if you kind of don't want to have to go through the trouble of reading it yourself or kind of want to get my thoughts on the chapter, make sure you stop in and check out the reviews for it, all right? Other than that, guys, just going to do it. As always, I'm your boy. Heroes come back to do great, be great. Catch you guys later, all right? Peace.